a lot of the ranchers now, they're different. They made their money in computers or whatever. Uh, and they hire these old kids and expect them to run a ranch and they do things totally different. And they got nobody to show them any different. That's right. Uh, and they, I'm not going to say that it's bad, but it's different than the way we used to do it. All them old guys that I work with and for and around, they they did that for a reason. Yeah, they did. And yeah. it's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't just because they thought it up. You know, it was a good reason. It, most times it's handed down from their daddies or sure. their granddaddies. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, you've been doing this stuff for 150 years. There's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's the same way every time. I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's. It's all going away. Yeah, it is, and that's the reason we want to do this. And that's you know, and them them dead burn suck wagons. Them them, and I mean, I know. I mean, it's it, it's a whole lot easier to suck them cattle than it is to you know. I mean, yeah, to, well, it takes more people. Uh, it, spring it, of the it, year, if you're not careful, you pull a cow away from a calf. That's right. You know, if it's a little right. calf, and you've had some old uh, cow laying uh, around uh, and waiting. Uh, that's exactly right. Then you got. I've gotta, seen that happen. Mm, See a calf laying under a tree and then come back and coats have killed him. Mm-hmm. Or he's gone. Mm-hmm. Or he might and just that, gone. Yeah, and just that short of time. I yeah. mean, and this is kind of what, it, it's like he's talking about a while, while ago about, about shackling them cattle. I mean, if you don't know, them cattle, they, they, they get hot and die. You know, if you're gonna get back to them pretty quick, I mean, you can tie one down. But that's but right. That's right. We uh, if you, if they get up where they can move around, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you a funny story about that. <clears throat> Frank didn't like for you to rope, and I roped all the time, and he knew it, <laughs> but he never would say nothing. And he get off on another tangent here. If one of the other boys had something that needed to be caught, he'd call me and say, "Can you go help them?" Because their horses might rope and they might not. I mean, not that they objected, they just might not track. But anyway, we was working Lower Sandy down there one time. and, and uh, Now tracking, you know, falling in behind them and, okay. Old, old, uh, <clears throat> an old black baldy cow run off and, and had a big, big black baldy heifer, horned heifer calf with her. And I knew she wasn't gonna come back. And I just followed her as she crossed the road down there and I caught that calf and shackled her. And uh, caught back up with the drive and at dinner, I told Frank, I said, I got a big black ball of heifer shackle down there on the creek on at that road going to Peak Mill. And uh, he uh, said, well, you and Bobby go get her. Well, Bobby in Boston. Bobby was a little bit scared of cattle, but and, and I was riding a pretty young horse. We stopped out there about 50 yards from her. And I got on old Pepper and Lope by her and roped her as I went by and jerked her down. Well, Bobby, he come, jumps on her and takes the shackles off and then just stood up. <laughs> well, she's a mad rascal. A pissed and off she, piece of livestock. Yeah, she, 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 took uh, off, uh, she took off after him. Well, he took off to the trailer. Well, I thought, boy, this is going to be easy. So I just let her... Uh, breathe in his back pocket? Run, run right down his hip pocket all the way to... He ran on by the end of the trailer and I pulled her up. I mean, he was hooked up to a runaway now. The horse having trouble keeping up with both of them. Anyway, oh, he, he, ran, he ran on by that trailer and, and stopped and looked back. He said, that's the longest damn rope I ever saw. <laughs> he didn't know I was riding up giving her all that slack. slack. <laughs> hey, he's been bad motor scooter. I guess he finally figured it out. Or oh, you yeah. Tell him. I, every time I thought about it for two weeks, I just laughed. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. Bobby's a little nervous around the cow anyway. <laughs> I had something kind of like that happen. Uh, you, you know them old trailers that had that, that one bar you put on around the trailer and then drop the pin down in? <laughs> I wrote one drug on the trailer and I had a nick, a black boy that worked for me, you know, and uh, 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 they called him Popcorn. You know, when he get he get to juking and, and get drunk at them at them jukes, you know, and he do the popcorn. Now, anyway, long long story short, as I rope that cow and and drug her on, slap onto the front of the trailer, you know, and <clears throat> a little drag on the trailer we use just short deal, and uh, uh, Bobby's scared of the cow now. I mean, you know how. Nick, 
black folks is sometimes they just a little bit shook up and 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 he run by and caught his jacket on that on that hook and he just knew that case he had on <laughs> but it, 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 the cow's on the trailer <laughs> run around there and, and caught his jacket his jacket on that on that latch you know and i mean he come out of that jacket and just a holler whoa well you know just, I mean, just, <laughs> just funny things like that that happen to you you know we had I a mean, couple of black guys work for the ranch did, did the fencing and the windmilling did, did. Uh, i got along with them Really well. Oh yeah. I, I picked at them all the time. I tell them black jokes and stuff. Mm. They, oh, don't be telling us that crap. And I just laugh and they just laugh. That's right. Uh, but they, they did. I had 19 windmills there at Sandy, and and I had a good set of tools. And they got to where they'd come get those tools and take them off to one of the ranches. Lay, wouldn't bring lay, them back. Uh, and I I told Bobby one time I said I can't get my windmill fixed. If, They've got my tools. He said, well, call them. They got your tools, make them fix them. Well, I, I helped them anyway. Usually if it wasn't, something, if it wasn't doing something else, you know. But I had a lot of fun out of them. We had a string of, uh, pulling a string of pipe out of a deep old well, two and a half inch pipes, heavy. We used a rope snatch block, double. And that rope broke where it was tied to the pickup. Of course, it had to unthread. By the time that snatch block, I had the pipe right at the top of the tire. I met that snatch block hit that casing. Willie was 50 yards down the road. <laughs> he knew right. what was happening. That's right. People get killed like that's that. That's right. You know? That's right. He wasn't going to be around no. And, and, and Bobby, or Popcorn, you could not pull up to a train crossing. When he's a kid, he's seen a, a train jump the track right there. That I mean, he, he you couldn't get him to pull up. He'd be near that, <laughs> that power pole out there. He was uh, yeah. the way to work. He go pull up no train crossing. Those guys did a lot of hard work. Yeah, they did. When things got to getting tight for Lewis's, you tell they wasn't gonna make it or wasn't gonna try or whatever, yeah. I don't remember. But wouldn't borrow the money uh, or do what. One of the one of the guys was trying to get them guys fired. Uh, keep from having to keep from having to pay them, mm -hmm. you know. And ask me I listened to it for a couple of months and he asked me about it, and I, what do you think? And I said, I think you better go count your water gap before you get them fired. Yeah. Because you get it takes them two weeks to put all your water gaps in. How long is it going to take you by yourself? That's exactly right. He, I never hear him complain no more. <laughs> and and, and, and that's, that's stuff I don't want to do. You know, he don't, he don't do no windmill work. He don't put in no water gap. I yeah. mean, go hire it done. I, or, you know, I, I, that's just part of ranching for it, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. You know, and you're talking about it's always fun to rope somebody else's cattle. You know, but now when it comes to roping your own cattle, it's. <laughs> well, you know, I've roped a lot of my neighbor's cattle, and you're, you're not supposed to. I roped the Calvert Haggies one time, and old Levi turned her straight over back her just like a cat. I mean, stuck both her horns in the dirt, she couldn't even get up. And Parson McClellan was running the deal, but there's two more there that worked there. They got mad about it, but it. it you know, I, I didn't say nothing because I knew you wouldn't. I didn't intend for that to happen. Oh, I'm saying that. old horse, if you, you'd rope one, take rope once, and he'd take the first jerk, and after that he did all the jerk. Yeah, yeah. And I'd already caught one cow that run off from around up, and he decided it's time to stop. Boy, he, he planted her, did he? Oh, yeah, I'd love to have a video of it. On the west side. He right. did turn her over back and drug her. She went around to had a bunch of pickups, along a bank for yeah, a wing, yeah, and then she yeah, went around in pickups and up on that bank, it was right there, everybody saw it. <laughs> and I drug her back around in pickups and off that bank and drug her out in the herd, and I believe I was trying to work around up while he's dragging that cow back in there. <laughs> Not every horse do that. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, maybe them horses Johnny Hill rode would. Well, I, They paid know. attention. They paid attention. But, I think they paid attention because I paid attention. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, about. You, you know, That's what I'm talking you about. keep your head in the game, they'll mm -hmm. be in the game. That's right. If you if you ask them. That's right. You just got to ask. You got to be consistent. Like I said, consistency. When they're young, put them there, put them there, put them there. And then... Well, I've seen people crucify one for not turning around right and then let him go right up there for them trees and turn around any way he wants. Yeah. He don't yeah. know what you uh -uh. want. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Same way every time. Same you way. You know, I've... I'm not the world's best horse trainer by a long shot, but 
Uh, well, there's some people who bite. Well, they yeah, but they, they're just prejudiced. <laughs> Johnny, I think we're going to wind this up. Okay. Uh, there's a lot more. Well, they probably is. We just got to keep we digging it out. We didn't discuss the mare race deal much. We didn't, and I and I want I want to get to that. 